Thank you, thank you very much, Lord Mayor. Um, these are very, very difficult times for the Council. And um, if I'm a little bit critical of the Labour administration, uh, it's not because I'm trying to defend the government in any way. But as has been said by speakers on all sides, we must not just learn lessons, but as a Council, we must be ready to find the way through and the way forward. And by learning lessons, make changes that are necessary. And I'm afraid there's some fundamental things that I'd ask uh, our colleagues on the left, the left politically on my right, um, physically, to, uh, to, con to consider, which date through some of the situations we've heard about. Um, and the, the leader, why on earth he tried to fog the issue by saying this is a long-standing issue that dates back to the coalition that rang the council up to 2012. It's a complete smoke and mirrors because we know the claims can only date back six years. We've heard the accounts for the last three years are a problem and we've heard, we've heard obliquely, slightly, but we've heard obliquely where the problem lies with task and finish where the problem lies. And we know where that lies. That lies in the waste collection service. Um, we've also heard reference to the 2017 bin strike. And that, was, that happened because the administration then, the Labour administration, was trying to sort out an equal pay issue that had arisen from the reorganisation. And it was lost. And therefore, we have, we have not had detail about that, but it, it left problems over equal pay as well in the same service. And we've also recently had, I don't know how many colleagues have read it, but it's been published and shared, a decision of an employment tribunal which looked into the service in 2016 and 2017. And if you read that account, it is utterly shocking what was going on. The ability of one or two individuals to hold everybody to ransom. Absolutely shocking. And the problem we have now is the equal pay situation. We know it is happening because of small numbers of people have levered situations to their advantage to increase their own earnings at the expense, gross expense, of everybody else. Now, we, we in our group and party actually recognise this way back. Read our manifestos from 2018 and 2022. We proposed, we're the only party to propose outsourcing the waste service because that's one way of dealing with it. But even if you don't do that, it's an option that has to be considered. And what happened in 2018, and if you're 22 at intake, I'll, I'll, I'll let you off on this, that the Labour policy in 2018, headed municipal socialism, was this. We will adopt a policy of in-house municipal socialism, was this we will adopt a policy of in-house preferred for all contracts. And I know because we tried to bring that alternative to council in budget debates and other sources. And I know in our conversations with council officers, it was not on the table. It was completely ruled out. Nobody was giving it any consideration as an option, even though other councillors, Samwell, Solihull, did it early on. And Samwell, which is, you know, is, is, is not a wonderful council, has, has its own problems. But it doesn't have that problem because it, it did that early, early on. Um, and our proposals were, as somebody said to me, they were quite Lib Demery because you know, I'd love it if you did that and, and you had a, a mutualised alternative come forward. And also we, we suggested, you know, break it up. Birmingham is too big. It's too big to manage. That's one of the problems. And by bringing in expertise from elsewhere, you can help deal with that problem. By trying to break things up and divide it and evolve it, you can try to deal with that problem. So we have to find ways through which are a little bit more radical Thank than we're hearing about Hunt. at the moment. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Thank you. I call the Mr. Bryden.